All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put an electric strike together. See, it's not that bad with the 6000 series. So here I have the completely empty back box. So the first thing to do is to put the strike clip into the electric strike block back box. And you put the spring in, get it in position, and then just put the strike clip pin through. Now you do have to punch this down. I'll do that later. Next step is to put in the slider. Now this is the fail secure slider. Just push up the lip, put it in with this end leading. So it's kind of at an angle and it just falls right in. And then the solenoid plunger just, and just hooks right onto the back. And so that's how solenoid controls the slider. Next, you have the washer solenoid spring and the solenoid that just screws on which is nice because if you ever do have to change the the voltage or you know, replace the solenoid or anything it just unscrews it's very easy you want to make sure that it is completely covering the spring that's what's giving you your latch tension and then you put it on with these 564 allen headset screws I'm gonna do that right now Okay, with the back box screwed down, make sure you just add the cover plate. Okay, so once you have the strike connected to the back box, there's just three screws. You have one on this side and two on this end. Now you can see you have a little bit of room for adjustment, and that is so you can control exactly where the lip is. Okay, and once you get the screws in, you are done and you have a fully assembled electric strike. Now, as a quick operational demonstration, this is actually a 6211DS, which is dual switch. So it has a latch bolt monitor and then another monitor that lets it know whether the lip is in the locked or unlocked state. Now, with the solenoids and the sliders, when you give them power, what it does is it pulls that slider back. So this is unblocked this is blocked 